we also have the Star Citizen Mining Head Subcomponent Module Information. This would be really, really useful. For example, I'm just getting into mining now. I've, I've been on a, a few mining ventures with Hawks Gaming, who is like mega into mining. Um, his whole his whole is based around bringing home the space cheddar, which is his, you know how he would describe it. And they are like power miners. And I've been along and I've observed, and and they're they're amazingly efficient at what they do. But knowing more about the mining head components and, and um, what they're used for would be extremely valuable. Um, there is a, a hybrid V audio bouncing missiles on purpose video, which uh, is about that the missiles have got new features like safety timers that prevent the missiles from detonating. I'm not entirely sure that that is the case because we've had some situations recently where launching torpedoes and missiles have self impacted on the ship they launched from. So I'm not entirely convinced that they've quite solved that one just yet. Mm. Um, but there is a really interesting video on the subject if anyone is interested in learning more. Um, the Elgato Stream Deck button plugin for Star Citizen. I'm not in enormously familiar with the Stream Deck itself. I know that you use one, Kai, right? You've got, you've got a Stream Deck? I've got one to my right and one to my left. I've got them <laughs> dual mounted to my Monster Tech. Yeah, so... Can I ask you? Sure. Do they, do they give a significant advantage? So, if you have, you know, twin verbals and you have more buttons than you could use, advantage per se, no. If you bother to discipline yourself to get the muscle memory of all of the different hats and whatnot. Where I think it gives a significant advantage is that you can go in depth on programming them. And let's say you're a super combat person. So you have muscle memory for all of your combat operations. You know, yeah, you're going to stick to just keeping your thumbs on your hot ass cause it, or your host ass because it's quicker and easier. But let's say you decide to go on a hauling run or you decide to go on a mining op and you're doing something a little different. You're getting into some stuff that you don't get into as much. It does not hurt at all to have programmable buttons with little menus on there that you can see. Oh yeah, this is the thing to go into ping mode or this is the thing to jettison all cargo. It's also, I, for example, in that case, jettison all cargo. If you're mining Quantanium Hardcore, there's going to be a few situations where you got to bite that bullet and dump the cargo. Not many, but few. That's the kind of thing that you want on the Stream Deck. That is not a thing that you want on your host ass where you're going to accidentally hit the wrong hat switch and boom, just drop all of your Quantanium. So, I mean, it, 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 it has its use cases for sure. Jules Verde has released part one of a video series covering the basics of uh, the um, Star Citizen uh, controller config. This is for the Xbox controller. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're using an Xbox controller, this is a kind of good reference for setting up that controller to use in Star Citizen. Just a, um, just a quick heads up. I included that link because it's part one. He's got like part one through six or whatever out. And he also just dropped the one that you're about to mention, which is Couch Citizen Controller Config for 3.14. So he's kept it up to date. And we have links in the show note to his video. His video has the links to the Nexus mod link, the Mediafire link, and the Dropbox download site. So you can pull it up if you want to get his pre-config selections for uh, how you can button map everything in Star Citizen. Now, to be clear, this isn't on a standard Xbox controller. This is on the Xbox Elite controller. So it's got, you know, several extra buttons and programs uh, that you can do with it. And it's, you know, whatever, 180 bucks. I bought one just because I was like, yeah, I definitely want to do FPS on a controller. And it was awesome because I ordered it on Amazon and like three hours later it showed up. It's like same day delivery, just here you go. So yeah. It's interesting actually to think that, I mean, obviously for a lot of players, they will use a mix of like myself, they will use a mix of some some stick variation, you know, HOTAS, HOTAS and mouse and keyboard, I guess. But mm. The benefit of a controller, I guess, is that you could have your on foot and flight controls in in one package. You know, mm -hmm. you can have everything together. 
Mm. And I want to give a, I just, sorry, I want to give a real quick shout out. Jules is in the chat live with us now. And he said, Hey, thanks for the shout out on my work, dude. Your stuff is legit and it like not even joking. I watched the first video. I started on the second video and then I stopped watching your video, hopped over to Amazon, ordered the damn thing, and then hopped back to your video. So you, sir, should be getting a commission from Xbox for selling those elite <laughs> controllers. Great job. Fantastic. Sorry, Katie. Go ahead. And this is over on Spectrum again. Sauce so has an information. This is a, a list of links for tools, software, HOTUS and keybinds, uh, keyboards, controllers, mouse and keybinds, and describe everything from your, your usual, you know, the, the kind of the kind of central tools that we use in Sauce, so like Urkel for uh, setting up your ship. That's the equivalent of Coriolis for any elite dangerous players. This thing. Um, you've got your Joseph Gremlin stuff, SCJ Mapper V2. Um, so it's just a, it's a, a really useful page that contains a lot of links to tools and information that you may need if you are starting in Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. um, Subliminal has released a video which is a, a ranking, a kind of tier video, if you will, of the fighter ships uh, in, in 3.14. Again, there have been a lot of changes to combat in 3.14. So having a, a refreshed... Oh, please, Kai, go ahead. Uh, oh, I just wanted to no, hop in. laughing. Uh, I just oh, wanted fine. to hop in and say that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, Subliminal is a combat god, and his video where he takes an hour and breaks down, and you hear his thought process. He doesn't just say like this video is the best, this or this ship is the best, this ship is the worst. He literally pulls up each of the combat ships. And says, hmm, let's see where we rate it. And you hear his explanation for why. He's like, well, this one is still zippy, but its maneuverability got, got cut down. But its turret power got buffed. But its this power got yeah. cut down. It, like, sublimate. If you have not seen that video, take an hour, pop it on while you're doing whatever. You don't even need to see it, see it. Because it's literally, like, there's visuals of him placing them in their place. But really... You can just play it on your earphones if you're, you know, vacuuming or doing stuff around the house. You're mowing the lawn. You can play it on your phone and your earphones, and you can get all of the value of it. You need to go see that if you care about combat rankings in 3.14. Because just sub and also while you're there, you need to subscribe to Subliminal. You need to be subscribed to Star C Soul Citizen, to Subliminal, to to Astro Pub, to Dig That. To tomato, to morphologist, get get on it. Uh, Dark Knight, you had something? No, I was just gonna actually. I was gonna echo what, what you just said about uh, subliminal. To, if you're really looking to outfit your ship and figure out what uh, is a good way to get your ship to your specifications, um, subliminal's videos are great. I mean, I, I when I first got into Star Citizen, and, and I'm not a combat player. Um, but his ship loadout videos were just absolutely essential for me learning how to build my ships themselves, whether it was for combat or, or if it was just for making it hulky enough as a cargo hauler, you know, something like that. It was, uh, he, he's put together some great content and, and he updates it regularly. So obviously with this new release of 3.14, he's updated all of his fighter ship rankings and he'll just continue to put more and more of this stuff out there. Hands down. He's, he's amazing. Hell yeah. Katie, take us home, baby. The uh, Drake Vulture uh, is, uh, is highlighted on the Ships on the Roadmap video. I am a huge fan of Drake. Of Drake. I'm a mm. huge fan of Anvil. I'm a huge fan of Drake. And this is the, I don't know if you call it salvage or scrap reclamation, maybe, ship. Uh, it is very, very appealing to me. And I've looked at the internals of the ship. So this is a ship that can break down wreckage and things for reliable um, um, uh, resources, essentially. But it also has the space in it for a lot of cargo, for carrying things like a, an extra vehicle. Um, big fan. I, I like the look of it. It looks like a kind of weird dragonfly hybrid with a with a mole almost you know uh, uh it's it's a very very interesting ship very much looking forward to it um Fasca, i believe you have uh, something to add to this 
Yeah, I just <laughs> wanted to ask. You said you're you said you're, you're a fan of those manufacturers. That means you're not an Origin fan, because if you're not an Origin <laughs> fan, you're gonna have to issue with some of the people in, 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 I... in, in the Discord. I like I I I like the utilitarian thing. I'm I'm big into the kind of angular utilitarian thing. Luxury isn't for me. <laughs> right on, right on. <laughs> that's fine. We always need to have the workers, so that's no problem. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This 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 ship. I, I've got a yellow jacket dragonfly, and this mm-hmm. ship looks remarkably close to the. Yeah. Looks like an upscaled yeah. Yeah. yellow jacket dragonfly. Hell Very yeah. cool. Oh yeah, they mm-hmm. carried the design form over from it. it. It definitely is. You can see the influence on it. It's 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 a great. A lot of us are looking forward to the whole salvage thing. You know, it's it's something that yeah, that mechanic is going to be so cool. Touching mm. back on the uh, the reclaimer, I believe that the the central the central purpose of the reclaimer is salvage, right? Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. It's the it's kind of the granddaddy. CIG really is trying to put out what they would consider. Um, like that entry level, kind of how the freelancer, I mean, not the freelancer, the uh, prospector is for mining, you know, single person, get your feet wet. That's how you get started. Uh, then there's the mole, which is kind of like that middle ground where you start introducing multiplayer. And then you get to the Orion where you're in the advanced level of mining. And so <laughs> it's the same thing with salvage, you know, the, this, that, that, um, that's, that's going to be pretty much the same order of things. And of course the, uh, reclaimer is the granddaddy of salvaging. Yeah. Yeah. So you had the vehicle ship for, for the walk and the walk to your ass. Yeah, the, well, the for the mining for ship wise, it's kind of like the misc is what I do, the mole is what I do with a few friends, and the Orion is what I do with an org. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a video by uh, Super Mac Brother. Sticking with Super Mac Brother, uh, another amazing video this week. It is uh, so much done. Core tech, nav mesh, new vehicle, fire, and. Uh, work finished in August. This is this is basically a, a roundup of all of the work that's been completed in August by CIG, um, and there's there's a lot of really promising stuff coming. I I, I personally am a am a, a fan of the the on foot stuff in Star Citizen almost as much, maybe maybe even slightly more than I am a fan of the the ship stuff. Um, and I think that just stems from we didn't get a lot of that, in, even with Odyssey, we didn't get a very good showing of that. With Odyssey and in Early Dangerous, um, so that the, the nav mesh work is of great interest to me. Mm-hmm. But all of the other, all of the other core tech that's been highlighted in the video here, really great stuff. 